Hey guys, how's it going? We're doing a lesson with Rosanna and uh, we're going to talk you guys right through it for a little bit. So what we're going to do is, um, let's start with a couple of shadow swing on the forehand. We'll do the open stance first. Yes. So all we're working on is holding your weight on the, on the outside leg, on the right leg. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and rotate into the left side. So we hold the weight on the right leg. And then we shift to the left side. So it's one and two. If we have to move a little bit, just be careful with the way you step. That way, not everything is, is closed in. So we want to make sure we have some space in between our legs. That way the arm is sometimes a little more free when the base is a little wider versus when everything is really crammed in. We're going to warm up with a couple of swings. Yes. Yep, really good. And guys, just to give you an idea, um, Rosanna turned 74 and she's one of my most consistent students. And we've been working together for about three years and she's very, very dedicated, I tell you. So these swings look really good. I'm liking the, the stance. Very good. One, two, really good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Can I see you do it again without the ball? Mm -hmm. Good. Now let's do it again. Very good. Nice. Now, this part may be slightly hard to correct, but when we get to here, remember how we said we need to be loose but still hold on yes. to the racket? It could be slightly looser on your wrist joint. That way the racket can fall a little more. Little. Yes, so same swing, but everything's kind of looking slightly together, and it needs to be more of the arm and the, and the butt cap slightly bit more first. So like one, and then two. Okay. Yep, do a couple of shadows for me. So freeze here. I would sit on the, let's do it again. So the shadow looks like this. Very good, way to hold your weight on the right side. And then from here. And as you start coming a little bit more this way, than this way, just a little bit more like that. Hold on. Uh -huh. More like that. Yes, do that okay, again. See if I can do that. So freeze. So wait, we wait, wanna, I'm up here. Correct. We, we still have to hold this. I have to be up here. But as you start opening up, you have to let the arm kind of go like this way. Yes. Okay, let me try that. Correct, correct. Ready? Okay. Good. Okay, good. Not bad, not bad. Still have to hold on to the racket. Yes. Good, let's do the shadow. Not too bad. Yep, excellent. The feet. Yes, better. Go ahead, show me without the ball. And freeze. Good, hold that there. From there, just swing. There we go. Now let's do it again. Yep, could you turn a little bit more? Hold it there. From there, just swing forward. Very good. That's it. Excellent. Now, let's have you move back three more steps, Rosanna. Same idea. Let's speed up the swing a little bit more. Yep. Now, Rosanna's current rating is about a 3-0. We still want to look open. Go ahead, show me without the ball. And freeze. Good. Yeah. You always want to feel like you're sitting more... It should feel like you're 70 to 80% on this right leg and only 20% on the, on the left. Yeah. Ready? Yes. There you go. Perfect. 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 Nice technique. Way to hold it. There. Swing. Really good. Really good. Good. A little bit more open stance. Yes. Very good. Last one. Very good. There and nice job, Rosanna. Let's take a little second. Still ending up forward, 
which means that you're still coming forward and I would and it's not bad I would still let you bounce the ball twice but avoid coming forward if you can we're trying to work on hitting big from the baseline if you can so let's move back all the way to the baseline Rosanna ready so go ahead and stay right there let this ball bounce twice and still hit it yes very good and then keep holding your ground there ready so guys if you ever have a student that keeps moving forward you can literally tell them sometimes it's okay to let the ball bounce twice even even three times aha uh -huh. that way they can they can work on uh, having more time to do the technique uh, obviously in a game situation yes you can stress out the ball can only bounce one time and then boom but when you're working on technique or or ground strokes it's okay to tell your student to let the ball bounce twice especially if they're not the fastest uh, fastest movers very good let's uh, accelerate the racket a little more a little more juice yes i like how you got lower when i said uh, a little bit more juice yep let's let it finish let the swing go to the end when uh when uh let it bounce twice even three times very good very good rosanna good good keep letting it bounce twice that way your feet don't uh don't go too much further than the baseline ready it's the, the opposite of what you would normally do ready very good very good yes and because we're letting it bounce twice your preparation sometimes can be slower but it still needs to happen so even if i'm going slow it could still look like this and then i swing if you're letting it bounce more than one two three times ready a couple more Hope. ready position it's okay go there swing not bad let's take a little break rosanna there you have it guys amazing trio player 